Today in our Hollywood Secret Series, you will be learning how to recreate Oppenheimer movie color grade in DaVinci Resolve using a LUT and power grade. Welcome to the Resolve Store. The colors of the Oppenheimer movie are muted and desaturated, aiming to create a sense of realism, urgency, and tension. The blacks are also very deep, which helps to create a sense of claustrophobia and emphasizes the horror of the event. By using a muted and desaturated color palette, deep blacks, and soft light and shadows, the filmmakers are able to create a visually stunning and emotionally impactful film. Keeping all the details in mind, we have created Roar Luti to emulate the dynamic color grade of Oppenheimer, which you can download for free. The link is in the description. If you want to effortlessly transform your footage into breathtaking cinematic masterpieces in just a few clicks, then you can check out our Cinematic X LUT pack, consisting of 335 unique looks, inspired by the color palettes of all the visually stunning films and recreated to help you achieve authentic color grades. The download link is in the description. So we have two videos on the timeline, one is Rex 709 footage and the other is log footage. Go to the color tab, create a serial node and apply the LUT by selecting this node. To import the LUT, right-click the LUT folder and go to Reveal in Finder. It's similar for Windows users too, and then paste the LUT that you have downloaded. We have already imported the LUT, now apply Ruhr LUT on the selected node. In some footage, there might be the possibility of incorrect white balance. As you can see, this footage's white balance is off too. Let's fix the white balance by working on the first node. Make sure that you don't select the node to which we have applied the LUT. Using the offset wheel, we will be fixing the white balance of this footage. Looks perfect. Now let's see the comparison between our color graded footage and the shot from the Oppenheimer movie. It looks good, but more work needs to be done to make it look like it was shot on a film camera, which we will learn while applying the power grade. Now let's quickly work on the second footage. Firstly, we have to transform this footage from log to rec 709. Go to the Effects tab and search for Color. Drag and drop the Color Space Transform to the node. Make sure to know the color profile of your footage. This footage was shot on a red camera, so the input color space will be Red White Gamut RGB, and the input gamma will be Red Log 3G10. Change the output color space and output gamma to Rec 709. The white balance looks perfect. Now let's apply the Ruhr LUT to this footage. Looks good. Let's see the comparison between our color graded footage and the shot from Oppenheimer movie. It matches, but let's decode the secret to make it look like it was shot on film. For precise control over the grade, professionals use proper color grade pipelines to achieve the desired look. The exact emulation of this look is only possible using print film emulation. We at the Resolve Store have developed a similar color grade pipeline to emulate Kodak 2383 film stock. It's called Cinegrade X Power Grade. Cinegrade X Power Grade is a secret weapon that gives you the ability to achieve the look of a film print with accurate colors and rich blacks. It gives DaVinci Resolve users the ability to emulate film stock without having to go through the costly and time-consuming process of printing on film. To download Cinegrade X Power Grade, make sure to check the link in the description. Now let's see how Roar LUT works with our Cinegrade X Power Grade. For those who don't know how to import Power Grade, right click in the Power Grade area and then select Import. Let's apply the Cinegrade X Power Grade to this footage. After applying the Power Grade, the first thing we need to do is connect the grain node with the imported grain mat file. Without it, the footage will look messed up. It's the most essential step. Go to the Media tab. We have a variety of film grains included as a bonus with our Cinegrade X Power Grade pack. Choose the type of grain you require and import it by clicking Add to Media Pool as a mat. Now connect the grain node with the grain. The next step is to work on the Color Space Transform node. As it's Rec. 709 footage, we will be putting Input Color Space and Input Gamma as Rec. 709. After that, we have to apply the LUT over this footage using the negative LUT node. Select the node and then apply the Ruhr LUT. Looks perfect. 
If you wish to work on the white balance, saturation, contrast, and exposure of the footage, then you can do that by making the changes to the primaries node. Apply the Cinegrade X power grade to the second footage. We don't need to connect the grain node to the film grain mat as we have already done that. Make changes to the CST node. The input color space will be red white gamma tar GB and the input gamma will be red log 3 G10. The output color space and output gamma will remain as they are. Now finally apply Ruhr LUT. It looks marvelous. Now let's look at the comparison between our color graded footage using Cinegrade X and the shots from Oppenheimer movie. The iconic Kodak 2383 film stock makes the highlights bloom with a gentle roll off creating a soft and organic glow. The shadows take on a velvety depth, enhancing the overall cinematic feel. It adds a subtle grain texture to your footage, replicating the film's signature grain structure. This grain introduces a touch of organic imperfection, breathing life into your digital frames and adding a tactile quality that is unmistakably film-like. So, if you're excited to see how we recreate the breathtaking color grade of more Hollywood blockbuster movies, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications.